Well, I said I was gonna do it, and I did it. So we have his little bearing in here, little shaft, and it just fits perfect. So it doesn't press down on the motor. It just has the shaft has to be the perfect length. And uh, so I don't have my Z offset. I've been testing, you can see. I don't have my Z offset set because I put my linear brackets on and I haven't messed with this computer since. Um, we'll go ahead and get this thing moving around so you can see this thing in action. And then we'll go over how to uh, set this up. So while that gets motivated here, <clears throat> let's go over here. So this is your access cover, access cover. Um, bought 10 little skateboard barons for like five or six bucks. Just go on Amazon, look up skateboard bearings. Um, so here is the cover, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so when you print these, these holes tend to gum up right here on the end. So make sure you ream these out with a screw if you have any kind of fit problems. I, I just put this on. After I reamed the holes, the screws went in perfect. No problem at all. They weren't tight. So I think a lot of the problem is over extrusion. You're going to have trouble. The more you over extrude, the more you're going to have to work on these holes. So here is the little pin. So the flag goes in here. This goes up through the bearing. And then this gap right here is what you have to dial in for your... Um, I don't know if this is going to work for everybody. I, I assume it, it probably should, just as it sits. Um, and... Very much on the... I was just kind of looking at the cover. I saw a little gap on the bottom. But I think it's just because I didn't clean the bottom up that good. Uh, this may have to be shortened, like ever so much like maybe a quarter of a million millimeter or something shorter we'll see I'll, I'll inspect it anyways so right here this is where it just kind of sandwiches onto the top of that shaft that sticks through there's not much there so the fit has to be perfect um it's a little bit tapered so just scrape this edge a little bit if this is not this edge right here is not sitting flat against the top of the sprocket um or the pulley Go ahead and take a little tiny bit of this off not on the flat side just on the other part and uh, that'll jam on the other thing you can do is right when it comes out the printer and it's still hot and sticky you can jam it on the motor and form fit it that way um, so basically you're going to press and pull this if you need to shorten this um, you shouldn't have to shorten it enough where you have to mess with any of this hole you'll probably have to pull this and then or push this and push this whatever so very uh simply It's not hard. So, and this thing is, uh, I should have started this up. I should have manually started the nozzle. Momentarily here, we'll just start it up. I can't think if there's anything else here to tell you. Um, this was printed with my new linear rails on my plus. And there's a little spot right there. I'm not sure why that happened. I didn't get that on the other print that I did. Um, on this one, I did not get that. Um, no, um, this is not. This was with the old rails. I don't know where the other one is. The prototype that I was working off of. Oh. Yeah, here it is. And this has these lines because I printed this with the Creality Slicer. Because um, I was just printing these fast. That actually was printed at 60. It's not bad. Um, I did make a change. I noticed that I had to make this a little bit taller and I just pulled on the top and I noticed it left a little gap here which was requiring people to have to build support. So a uh, little oversight, sorry for any, but it makes for an ugly part right there on the top when it has to do the support. So the version 10 that's up there now um, doesn't have that. And also my regular covers don't have this bearing in. I'll have to figure out 
if I want to, I think I'll just put it in separate and put a link um, to where you can get this cover if you want to use it. So we should be ready, just about ready to rock and roll here. And here we go. Yeah, we're a little crooked on our, a little crooked here. And there you go. And it's just gonna sit there and dance around. I can't wait to see what everybody puts up here. Ballerinas, I don't know, monster heads. I mean, whatever, flags. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, we'll just wait here and let it, and there you go. That's just all it's gonna do. Looks like, oh, I haven't put my machine back together. Look at that, that belt's about to fall off. So, all right, everybody. I hope you enjoy this project, and I will move on to the next thing. Enjoy.